Isn't it interesting that the wealthiest women in the world, those who could have the newest designer trends at their fingertips, rarely do? It's like they're in on a style secret that the rest of us just aren't clued into. There's actually a whole philosophy behind this, and today, we're going to explore why wealthy women choose to avoid splurging. Stay tuned. Number 1. The allure of vintage and unique pieces For the ultra-wealthy, it's way more than just old clothes. Vintage pieces are like treasures, exclusive, impossible to replicate, and each one tells a story that's all its own. Take someone like Sarah Jessica Parker, who's known for her love of vintage fashion. She doesn't just throw on any designer dress, she reaches for those rare pieces from decades past that can't be found on store racks today. These items are special, with craftsmanship, style, and uniqueness that new clothes simply can't replicate. What's even more fascinating is how vintage adds character to an outfit. It brings a sense of history, a touch of nostalgia, like it's been on an adventure of its own before even making it to the wardrobe. There's an exclusivity to these older pieces that makes them truly one of a kind. And for the affluent, who can afford pretty much anything, that uniqueness is everything. New designer clothes? They're stunning, sure, but there's something about vintage that says, I have something no one else does. It's refined, it's distinct, and it's almost like wearing a piece of art that's become even more iconic over time. Plus, wearing vintage is also a bit of a power move. It subtly shows a level of style confidence. You're not wearing it because it's in, you're wearing it. After all, it's timeless because it's you. In the world of the affluent, vintage isn't about trends. It's about finding pieces that resonate deeply, ones that have stood the test of time and will continue to be just as stunning in years to come. Number 2. Sustainable and Ethical Choices In recent years, sustainable and ethical fashion choices have gained popularity, and many wealthy women have embraced this. Unlike fast fashion, which churns out pieces quickly and often under questionable conditions, sustainability-focused brands invest in ethical production methods, from fair wages to eco-friendly materials. And for the wealthy, who can afford to be selective, this is a big draw. Consider Emma Watson, for instance, who's become known for her commitment to sustainable fashion. She's not just a style icon, she's also become a beacon for sustainable fashion. Rather than buying new just for the sake of it, Emma curates her wardrobe with pieces that align with her values, those that tread lightly on the planet. Pre-owned luxury items, responsibly sourced materials, and brands committed to ethical practices are all part of her fashion equation. Each choice reflects a broader awareness of social responsibility, proving that looking fabulous doesn't have to come at the expense of our world. It's about making choices that feel good, inside and out, and that's the kind of fashion that truly stands the test of time. Number 3. Wardrobe Curation and Iconic Style Ever notice how some style icons seem to have a signature look that's instantly recognizable? That's not by accident. It's all about wardrobe curation. Wealthy women don't fill their closets with random, last-minute buys. Instead, they carefully build a wardrobe around a handful of iconic pieces that become their calling cards. Think Jackie Kennedy or Audrey Hepburn. Their wardrobes were like personal art galleries, filled with pieces they selected thoughtfully and purposefully. They didn't just throw in the latest trend. Each item was chosen to fit a cohesive style. It's like having a collection of classics, the perfect trench, that tailored blazer, or a flawless pair of trousers, that all work together effortlessly. This approach does more than keep them looking polished. It builds their personal brand. Over time, it's almost like they've crafted a visual identity that's them. It's the kind of look you recognize from across the room, a style that ages with them and feels as timeless as ever. Curation is about finding the best and making it last, not letting trends lead the way. Number 4. 
Attachment to personal value You know how some fashion icons just seem to have this signature look that's unmistakable? That's no coincidence. It's all thanks to the art of wardrobe curation. Wealthy women don't let their closets turn into a mess of random buys. They're more intentional. They build their wardrobes around a select few iconic pieces that become like a personal signature. Think of Victoria Beckham or Diane Keaton. Their closets were like carefully curated collections, each item handpicked to fit their aesthetic. They weren't chasing trends or piling up whatever was in that season. Instead, they chose timeless staples, the perfect trench coat, a beautifully tailored blazer, a pair of classic trousers that could be mixed, matched, and relied on for any occasion. And here's the cool part. This approach doesn't just keep them looking put together, it builds their personal brand. Over time, it's like they've created an instantly recognizable visual identity. You see a silhouette, a piece, a color, and you just know it's them. That's the power of curation, choosing pieces that are built to last and that never go out of style, while avoiding the constant race for the next trend. Number five. The practice of wardrobe maintenance. Here's a major style hack where wealthy women truly stand out. They actually invest in keeping their clothes in top condition. While the rest of us might let a small tear or missing button be the end of a piece, they've got a whole system for wardrobe maintenance. Tailors, professional cleaners, and repairs are all part of the plan to keep every item looking fresh. Tailoring alone makes a world of difference. It can take a dress from just nice to downright stunning. That perfect fit that we always admire? It's often because their clothes have been tailored specifically for them. Instead of ditching an item just because it doesn't fit quite right or is showing a bit of wear, they'll invest in alterations to keep it feeling fresh and perfectly on point, season after season. It's the ultimate less is more mindset. They don't need an overflowing closet. They have a collection that looks as good as new because everything is well maintained. It's a rotation of pieces that always feels fresh, simply because each item is given the care it deserves. Number six, embracing cost per wear. Wealthy women have a whole different way of looking at it. They think in terms of cost per wear. It's a little mental math trick. How much am I actually spending each time I wear this piece? Suddenly, a $5,000 coat you wear every winter for 10 years seems more practical than that $50 coat that barely makes it through one season. This is exactly why wealthy women lean toward timeless, quality pieces that they know will last. They're not out here just buying clothes. They're investing in a wardrobe that's meant to endure. Each piece becomes part of their long-term look a wardrobe that ages with them and looks polished without much effort. It's kind of genius, right? They're spending a little more upfront, but in the long run, they're saving by not having to replace items constantly. It's a wardrobe strategy that's not just about looking good, but about building a style that lasts. Number seven, the old money effect. Here's where things get interesting. Let's talk about the old money style. You've probably heard this phrase before, and it's all about luxury with a dash of subtlety. Old money style isn't about showing off the latest trends. It's about timeless classics that just feel familiar and refined. Think of it like a family heirloom, that antique watch or well-loved leather bag that's been around forever, not because it's on trend, but because it's, well, irreplaceable. This style has its own vibe, there's an effortless sophistication in that classic white shirt or that perfectly worn navy blazer. These pieces may be old, but they're reliable, timeless, and have this aura that money simply can't buy. It's the epitome of quiet confidence, and it's why the whole old money aesthetic is having such a moment right now. So, why do wealthy women rarely buy new clothes? It's because they've embraced a mindset that values less, but better, it's not about following the latest trends or being seen in the newest collection. It's about choosing pieces that stand the test of time, reflect their personality, and have a lasting impact both in their lives and often in the world. 
and maybe that's the takeaway here. If there's one lesson we can all apply from the wardrobes of the wealthy, it's this. Treat your clothes like they're worth keeping, because in the end, the pieces we value and take care of are the ones that truly make us feel wealthy, regardless of our bank balance. Thanks for joining me on this stylish journey today. If you found this video inspiring, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more fashion insights, and share your thoughts in the comments. What's your take on the wealthier set's approach to style? Let's chat. Until next time, keep it classy, keep it timeless, and remember, true style never goes out of fashion.